in our last tutorial, we spoke on how to create our model structure for our to-do list. In this tutorial, we are going to speak on how to create our custom dialog and XML design for our recycler view. So the first thing we are going to do is to create our XML layout for our recycler view. This XML layout is what is going to be used to inflate each row in our recycler view. We would call it row as in ROW. I guess if you have worked with recycler views before, you should be conversant with this. Because this tutorial is focused on Realm database, I'm going to be quick, a little bit quick here. So I'm just going to put a text view here, which is going to hold our task in our recycler view. It's going to be swipeable, so just, sorry, swipeable such that when you swipe, it deletes. So here we go. So I am going to name this txt row task. This is going to be the row we are going to use to inflate our recycler view. After that, we are going to create our dialog, which is going to pop up when you want to add a new task. So I think we are done with this row. We can go on to create our dialog XML. Yes, you create new layout resource file so now the next thing that we are going to do is give it a name what should i call it i'll call it new task dialog so that when you want to add a new task it will be a floating action button once you click it it pops up and you add a new task so it's just going to have one view and that view is going to be edit text to just get task you want and it's going to be written to the realm database so right now like before we're just going to use our constraints layout to draft a quick design so we drag it and quickly design it so now we have our row and our new task dialog set so the next thing is to add our dependency for our Realm adapter. Our Realm adapter is going to function as our normal adapter when we are dealing with recycler view. To get the Realm adapter, you go to the Realm Android adapters page on GitHub, copy the dependency, and you can now paste it in your Gradle. You could change that to implementation instead of compile. And I think there's a new version 3.0, so I use that. So we are good to go now. And the next thing we would do is to create our Java class for our dialog. So we can head on to do that right now. So now we are going to create our new class called new task dialog. And we're going to extend our dialog fragments so after extending dialog fragments we can now override some methods so i'm going to override two methods now that is on attach and on create dialog now like i said this is a realm tutorial so in case i'm a little bit fast and you want to catch up with understanding dialogues you could go to the google documentation on dialog and custom dialogues and you see a lot of information which is basically the same thing i'm going to be doing today and uh, i feel but i could create a different course on that really explaining how to do this so now we create our alert dialog builder our alert dialog builder we create our new alert dialog builder. This is going to be just how you do in order creation of custom dialogues. We get our layout inflator and we're going to inflate it using our new task dialog. 
in our new tax dialog we're going to be dealing with the edit text there but mind you i updated the new text dialogs edit text id that is i changed the id to txt dialog task so that it doesn't just have a raw or doesn't have any id so make your txt dialog as txt underscore dialog underscore task so take note of that because we would reference it now so we get our edit text and we we'll find our view that is that edit text we changed the we just i just showed you now so that is txt dialog task yep that's it now the next thing is to go on for the sugar so we're going to do our builder we'll set our view now this sets the view of the dialog and dialog layout is inflated and that is our new task dialog xml so we set our positive button it's going to have a text add task and we set our negative button cancel so we can either add a task or you cancel so i think that is clear now when you add a task we get the text of the task that you added from the txt dialog task and if you canceled it we should dismiss the dialog so i think this is pretty straightforward then you create you return the build.create since that's the return value so next we are going to create our listeners using a java interface so we create our interface and let's name it um, new task listener so anytime you add a new task using the dialog it sends back a response or a callback using on add task which gives you the task that is to be added from the edit text or if it was if it was cancelled sorry if it was cancelled it will give you a response also that it was cancelled so we create a new task listener variable here and we check if our activity implements this interface if not we throw an exception so we check this by doing m listener is equal to new task listener context and we catch this exception if the class did not implement it we throw a new class cast exception and we say you must implement this interface if not you ain't doing nothing so this is it so as a little recap we have our alert dialog and our layout inflator and we got our edit text from our layout and then we set the view we have our positive and negative button and um, yeah i think i'll add this for the callback to send the text actually since we have gotten the string and i think for this negative also in as much as we'll dismiss once it's clicked we also need to send the notification the callback in case you probably want to use and um, you want to do any toast or notification to the user after that in the next lesson we're going to go on to build our realm the secondary view adapter don't miss that for anything goodbye <music>